last Friday, day two of raids in Wet'suwet'en and its supporters, and the natural gas pipeline dispute, was caught in video from inside the blockades. By tactical officers with guns, they cut off the internet. Slato, Molly Wickham, spokesperson for the Gidemden Access Point, explains police are outside the tiny house in the Coyote Camp on a forestry road in Wet'suwet'en territory. An RCMP officer outside states there is an injunction in place. Officers break down the door with assault weapons drawn and proceed to make arrests. That same day, advocacy and human rights organization, the BC Civil Liberties Association, penned an open letter demanding RCMP stand down and leave the territory. Staff lawyer Veronica Martitius explains. And to vacate unceded, unsurrendered Wet'suwet'en territory uh, because the Wet'suwet'en um, people, the hereditary chiefs, uh, they have maintained that RCMP do not have jurisdiction on their territory. In late September, a Wet'suwet'en clan erected blockades as Coastal Gaslink prepared to pass part of the 670-kilometer pipeline past the Wadzinkwa or Maurice River. There was an increased police presence as tensions built, but then the RCMP set up a checkpoint controlling access up the forestry road. Enforcement of the injunction began last Thursday, resulting in 29 arrests, including documentary filmmaker Michael Toldano and photojournalist Amber Bracken. Toldano could be heard telling officers he's a filmmaker as they put him under arrest. You know, yes, the RCMP are on sovereign Wet'suwet'en territory, but the RCMP still have to follow the law. And um, freedom of the press is enshrined in, in the Canadian Constitution, which is the supreme law that RCMP are, are char charged to, uh, to abide by. On Friday, RCMP released a statement on arrests. The RCMP did not arrest anyone for being a journalist or detain anyone for performing their job. They were among those to whom the injunction was read and they were afforded the opportunity to leave the structures. They did not identify themselves at any point during the dialogue with police, which lasted over 60 minutes. When police forced open the door and began to arrest those inside, the individuals then identified themselves as journalists. Media arrested during the injunction were among those released on Monday. Gidemden camp leader Slato, Molly Wickham, was released last night. Lee Wilson, APTN National News, Kitimat.